Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode seven. Uh, yeah, seven, I think, of uh, the culture. Yeah, episode seven of totally professional intro of uh, the culture shock. So, um, today I am going to be recording two interviews, and this is one of them. So, this person right here, uh, introduce yourself. I say, I thought you would have done this a hell of a lot better. Shut uh, the hell up. <laughs> Fuck off. Have you not seen any of the other ones? Then you'd know my fucking stand. No, no, I did <laughs> not watch a single one of these. <laughs> We're off to a I great only start. came out here. Because a friend of mine was asking me to do it. So I said, fuck it, I'll do it. I can't, she kind of pressured me to pressure you into it. So <laughs> No, we're talking about a different friend. Oh, okay. Never mind. Continue. Yeah. Well, uh you know, I'm just gonna use the whole YouTube game thing. Yes. That's all, all right, I, I uh, that's what I planned on. So all right, so I'm Death Feather. He's been on the channel yeah, before. But... Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, so you've been on my channel more times than I've been on yours. Yeah, <laughs> it's because because <laughs> fucking RK. So let's go. Let's do a, a chronicling of uh, all of this. Um, we did a certain select number of uh, Modern Warfare videos, and then we've done Modern Warfare. We've done. Uh, we recorded a spell break video that's probably never going to be released. Uh, we, yeah, no, that will never be released because I already deleted it. <laughs> I deleted that shit a while we, ago. <laughs> I deleted spell break from my PlayStation like two days after we played it. And we've done Gears of War. <laughs> where that's the that, only... i don't think we'll ever do a part two on that one yeah like legit that that was the only time i ever played that game it's still on my laptop we haven't played it since i haven't played it since. it's still on my pc we haven't done shit <laughs> and then uh uh can you think of anything else um we did modern warfare a couple of times because that's the only thing we were able to play because of cross-platform yeah, yeah. Spell break because of cross platform. Gears of War because of cross platform. We tried Dead by Daylight, but we never recorded it. Yeah. Which was kind of. That's because you're a bitch camping at Dude. Oh. <laughs> that was like my second time playing the game. <laughs> and like I was doing so good. It's like your ass was camping. <laughs> I was not camping. Okay. I now was. Don't not. bullshit the audience. Don't not. bullshit the audience. Yes. Fine. Okay. <laughs> There's no proof of it. Like you can't, you, you can't put that part on me. <laughs> Find the proof recreate. and upload it. Find the proof and send it to me, and I'll upload the shit. All right. <laughs> I'll recreate it. I, I totally. I, I'm down. I just need to re-download it. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, how long have I known you? Um, shit, it's been five years now. Since like what eighth grade? Yeah, because we met in eighth grade. We hated <laughs> each other. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, uh, so you want to tell the eighth grade parts or that? Hey, this is how all great friendships start. I first saw you. I thought you were a bitch. <laughs> yeah. From what I remember, you were rocking a real, real fucking, real good <laughs> afro. It was, uh, it wasn't even that big. <laughs> like the other black dudes that hang out with like us, some, were, like some, they had that shit going. Some straight, you had some Cleveland Brown type shit going on. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to describe it. I had Cleveland Brown going on. It, it looked good. <laughs> that was back when I was really watching Cleveland. <laughs> Yeah, watching the fucking Cleveland show. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you go ahead. Since I can't remember much from back then anyway. Um, so we hated each other, like, absolutely despised. Yep. And so there, at some point, we were always just being sarcastic, contradicting each other. Be like, um, you're a dick. <laughs> yeah. There was one time you hit me in the armpit. I don't know why. Like, I put I... my arm up and fucking stressed me. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to punch him in the armpit. <laughs> 
<laughs> just and like you were so lucky I didn't snap on you that day. <laughs> and then a couple uh... months go by. We go into uh, high school. This was like when I was first put into the uh, IEP classes because they picked yeah. me in at the end of um, at the end of eighth grade. They switched all my classes and stuff. It's like, oh well, he's mentally unstable. We'll, we'll just put him there. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Can we talk about um, ROTC kind of sucking us in? It kind of. We'll get to us. that. <laughs> yeah, we'll okay. We'll get to that. All right. Okay, continue. <laughs> So, God, that complete so sidetrack. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> then we get into high school. I walk into the class, realize, oh, I don't know any of these assholes. See him. Oh, I know him. <laughs> You'd be like, come after, here, bitch. <laughs> after two months of randomly talking to each other, the slow, ever growing friendship that I still fucking question every goddamn day I, started. I happening. do too. <laughs> I just hope you don't pull a fucking Caesar. <laughs> like, we slowly start talking here and there. Then, um, come around the ROTC, he was somehow placed into the class. I volunteered group because I was planning to do the whole military thing. Yeah. We get in there, and it's like two days in. They're telling us we're required to get haircuts and stuff. You I'm not cutting my like, hair. You know, <laughs> not cutting my hair. Colonel told you just to leave, and you never came back. I, I left and then fucking I went to wrestling practice that, like legitimately. I went to practice wrestling practice that day and uh, we had a tournament coming up uh, that weekend. So my my coach was like, remember, you have you got to get haircuts. You have to shave. And I was like, OK, well, it's not it wasn't a requirement. I just like with the kind so of you could have stayed in ROTC. The, the, the kind of workouts we were doing in the wrestling room does not favor long hair, especially for dudes. So uh, I ended up cutting my hair and shaving and all that. And then I went on to wrestle in that tournament. But still, yeah, there was that. So let's just um, bash as many people as we can, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> They're never going to see this anyway, so why not? Yeah, I, I guess so. Um, okay, time, who we, we talk also had a... first. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go in uh, chronological order. <laughs> uh, let's see. We had Cortez. Oh, no, I met Cortez while in drill. If y'all don't know what drill is, just Google our ROTC drill. Like, I don't oh. feel like explaining. <laughs> Damn, I, I don't have that picture of him looking like a flight attendant anymore. Shit. I don't need the okay, so basically what we were talking about is um Caesar or Cortez, whatever you want to call him. When he was in the area, he's the never gonna talk to me again, uniform. so you can call him Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> when he was in the uniform and we picked glasses on him, he looked my glasses like a on flight him. attendant, yeah. I don't know, I think I have the picture somewhere. You just see him doing a drink service. (laughs) All he needed was the computer cart and just start pushing that around. Dude, that would have been fucking great. Okay, so to move Um, on, uh, what else? There was Macaulay. Yeah, there's that. Wait, does she watch your podcast? I don't want to talk shit if she watches it. I I don't think she does, but I'm going to send her this one. (laughs) (laughs) You gotta make sure she finds out. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, watch this shit, will you? <laughs> so, um, uh, as I, we move I really don't even school, have anything bad to say about her. Yeah, I don't have anything to say about the same, like, bad to say about her, too, because she's cool. That's the whole uh, Naruto, not Naruto, um, Avatar thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that That's the only dirt we have on her. <laughs> kind of fucking sad too oh that that movie was fucking terrible <laughs> it like, was uh, it was it was so dude the only movie i can think of that's worse than that is fucking the mulan live action movie oh, the Mu- that Mu- came out oh, that yeah. was terrible like i watched that with the whole family and stuff i'm like <laughs> how are y'all just gonna ruin this how are y'all gonna take a, such a simple and easy movie and ruin it 
See, my uh, my sister fucking hated that movie. <laughs> I was she mad hated, about that. Oh, <laughs> she hated the movie so much. I went like, too. They completely like just took it and threw it in the trash. Like what I'm just as a joke, what I'm thinking of doing <laughs> is I found this uh Mulan uh two movie pack or whatever it's called, right? <laughs> On Blu-ray at Best Buy. <laughs> no, it was at Walmart. It had the live action one and the and the actual good one, the animated one, right? I was thinking about buying it just so I can give it to her. That's for shits mean. and giggles. Just as a birthday present, just be like, here. <laughs> I bought you a pile of shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Bad movies. Uh, We're probably crushing some little girl's dream right now that absolutely loves yeah. the movie. <laughs> I'm, I mean, the animated movie is a fucking masterpiece, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Even the second one was okay. I I never seen the sequel. <laughs> it, it was basically a continuation Um so her and the general ends up getting married. Mm-hmm. Then the, um, the three other guys that was with them, you know, like the guys she made friends with, mm-hmm. basically getting them girlfriends. Oh, shit. You're trying to get, trying to get a mask. Is what, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, basically. I, I'll, I'll but like for- instead of just getting like simple girlfriends, now they decide, yo, let's go after some princesses. Yeah, yeah some high that. class shit you're going to get. That's some shit that uh, fucking. That, that's some shit that's yeah, right, right out of a fucking comic book. It's like that ain't gonna happen. Don't even try. See, when I think simple, I think uh, you you don't expect much because you ain't gonna get much. So you just be <laughs> like, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> As we move on from shitty movies. Uh, uh, we gonna circle back to any of the other dumb shit that we've done. We've done a lot. Um, I, hey, we have enough to fill an hour. We're, we're good. Oh, uh, well, was it seventh grade science? Oh, dude! Every Friday, do you want to talk about up that? the Urban Dictionary? Oh, yeah. <laughs> those were frightening times. <laughs> those were times of war. Those were uh, those those were my favorite memories of middle school. Believe it or not, <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there by the fucking no. We were standing outside of the classroom. <laughs> no, we were standing outside the classroom. We were next to Mister Dickinson's desk doing that. <laughs> I oh. swear, he always looked over at us like, "What the fuck is wrong?" He's just with like, this? "What the hell?" <laughs> and he was cool as fuck too. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Bro, I talked uh, with another one of my friends about being in his class, and we did the <laughs> the marshmallow fucking uh, spaghetti volcano thing. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, or, or was it the earthquake? Yeah, it was the earthquake thing. But like, we were building the structures, and he was doing the earthquake. Yeah, and he would fucking he put his back into it, dude. Like he, yeah. he was fucking. He was, he was going hard on the, the table. table. Like, <laughs> he's fucking I'm like, giving it bro, hell what in that high ta- water. What that table do to you, man? He's just sitting there going. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I seen him almost flip the table at least twice. I know he went even harder on uh, Jeremy's table. Yeah, he was like, I'm going to make this motherfucker fall down. <laughs> and he made it fall. Yeah, he fucking gave it hell and high water and made it fall, dude. I legitimately have nothing Never bad to say. Never got ours to fall, though. Yeah, because fucking y'all built it. I was it good at ours. Yeah. No, I was the one who built it. I made y'all the supplies because I didn't want none of y'all to touch it. That, that's why I said you because I didn't build the shit. <laughs> I think that's one teacher I legitimately have nothing bad to say about because he was cool as fuck. <laughs> he was one of yeah, my favorite until teachers from uh, until he wall. <laughs> and then all the dirt comes up, be like, ah. <laughs> Why is it always after someone dies, everybody comes out with stories being like, oh, he was a dick. 
Yeah, <laughs> like I never understood that one. Like, come on. Like, come he on. Ain't bro. a problem no more. Just let it be. <laughs> like, just let that flow out into the ether, bro. Like, you'll you'll be good. Just you know, give it time. <laughs> really hope his wife doesn't see this. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 well, yeah, hey, if we, she ever asks, is never show her the video, just then, never show her the video. But hey, the good thing is, we didn't, we didn't say anything bad. We're just saying he's cool as fuck. Like, him and his wife are cool as fuck. They're some pretty cool people. I feel like she's gonna see this and you're gonna fucking cease and desist order. Oh, no. As long as I don't be a dick, we're good. Like yeah. legit, his wife was so fucking cool. <laughs> like, oh, I always loved arguing with her. Like legit, the books that we read in her class. Uh, yeah, that was like one of the only English classes I liked. Like honestly, and the debates we would have in that class were fucking perfect because they made sense instead of us arguing over nonsense. <laughs> like. Until until I got like pissed off about it, but oh, <laughs> until you were like, ah, I didn't fucking <laughs> no, because I that was one thing I never liked that when she asked for my opinion, then like when I gave her it, disregarded it, like, like that, like that gets you the two the two books. I think the two three books. No, we read yeah, we read three we three books. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. um, you hero and knight. Or no, the uh, read... Jewish one. Oh, didn't we read a book called Monster with a yeah, black dude on the cover of it? No. Oh, all right. Cause... No, I think that was um other English teacher. Oh that like she starts books but never fucking finished. Oh yeah. Fucking what's her name? Uh I, I can't even Say well, don't name. actually say her name on this. I legit don't remember her name, so I can't even bring. We it have up. her for English. No, that was a different teacher. That was no, a different oh. teacher, wasn't it? Yeah, that was our first teacher. Where she tried reading all the um, what the hell are they called? The shitty um Greek and mythological stories and all that. Yeah, so like we... we we say we were gonna start reading it. Three hours later, we're watching a movie. Yeah, we watched like of mice and men and shit like that. No, mice and men was in the uh... the other class. Sophomore. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, because we didn't. We were gonna. Oh wait, no. Mice and men was with her. Yeah, yeah I got yeah, pissed yeah, about yeah, yeah. the uh, whole movie compared to the book because in the book he uses a revolver and the movie he uses a luger. Yeah. Like, like I real, got really yeah. pissed about that. You're like, it's some bullshit. <laughs> Use a fucking revolver like, like a man. <laughs> I was also mad, like, damn, how y'all gonna kill Lenny like that? Like, for real, Lenny seemed Lenny cool. was the homie. He was a little <laughs> slow, but he was the homie. Dude, Lenny fucking, uh, that reminds me of the, the Family Guy episode where Chris played Lenny and he just fucking <laughs> broke Meg's neck. <laughs> She's like, be rough with me. He's like, okay. And then he just breaks her neck. He's like, <laughs> uh, Why'd you sound like it sound like Meg was a fucking dude? <laughs> uh, that was funny as fuck, though. She was like, <laughs> she was like, be rough with me. He was like, okay. And then he just fucking yeah. broke your neck. <laughs> and all the wasted sex jokes on him about hand jobs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Stewie played the dude with the fucking <laughs> with his hand in the the. No, that was Quagmire. That played him. Oh yeah, and uh, Lenny was no. Nah, uh, Stewie played the dude that talked about the birds. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lenny's no, the rabbits. Giver. Yeah, the rabbits. <laughs> okay, as we move on, anything else? Uh, that is next story. Come on, there's something stupid. We have to fill um, it out. <laughs> You said there, there's Shit. just, there's just there so many. Tons, but it's like, we I can't just need, one. we just need to think of. Okay, um, let's talk about that time. Uh, <laughs> uh it was you, me, and Caesar. I, I That's know. how it all starts. <laughs> Always, it's just no, no. Okay, oh, oh, let's talk. No, okay, um, you remember when we were in um, sophomore year when COD Mobile came out? Yes. 
Oh. KJ constantly trying to challenge me. Oh, he he. No, KJ and through. Frankie always trying to challenge. And so I fucking much. Beat their they ass. talk so much. They they built. They put on such a front. They built themselves up. So oh, I much. still fucking hate Frankie. They on were that like, shit. bro. They were like, I get twenty kills per game or something stupid like that. less than ten. My ass over here at four <laughs> six. <laughs> I don't see how that's possible either. It's a mobile game. You're fucking. You're not using a controller. How? <laughs> my ass. I played mobile games growing up. This is only natural, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Dude, let's talk about when uh when Mario when the fucking Mario Kart tour came out. Oh uh, yeah, you got um he, or which up teacher into it. Dude, oh my god. We still never raced them. I was, because like the multiplayer wasn't out. Yeah, and plus I don't even know if the multiplayer is out anymore cuz or I don't even know if it is out. Well, I'm still never making another fucking Nintendo account. That's uh that's because, a negative for me. We we downloaded the shit and like we legitimately played. I remember it was you, me, Caesar, and Fred. <laughs> yeah, me, me and Fred were all that shit hard. <laughs> Caesar wasn't too into it. We were just in. It was okay. The people that were really into it were you, me, and Fred, and we were like super into it to where we like say nothing's going on in class or we're supposed to be doing something we'd pull out our phone and start playing mario kart <laughs> mm-hmm. we'd be in the back of the wind room and just just playing fucking mario kart. just sitting there going <laughs> like i'm i remember uh you me and fred would have competitions to see who could finish the game first uh then we do like the best times and shit yeah we were like oh i got this time no i got this time no i got this time Remember when we Mario, when not Mario, Naruto ran to class when fucking oh, Fred God. brought. <laughs> <laughs> he brought the old head. He brought the fucking the headband, <laughs> and we just like we legit Naruto ran, fucking Bro, arms I don't out. Miss Fred, Fred legit, was the fucking hobby. arms out and everything, and just oh, and yeah, ever like the COVID thing, kind of it didn't. Uh, I wouldn't say stopped relationships dead in the water. Okay, I guess it did. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, that's what it did. With a bunch of our friends that we'd like talk to on a regular basis, that we talk. I don't about. even know if they're still alive. I don't Every even know if Fred's still alive. Day. And they just like stopped. Mm-hmm. I know Fred's still alive. I talked to him a few days ago. I I che- I just checked on him. I was like, "Yo, you alive?" He was like, "Yeah." I was like, okay, cool. Like, legit, when the whole COVID thing started, I just, uh, like, I got a job. You're paying this on YouTube. I wouldn't be talking about that. You know, YouTube hates that word. Oh. But, like, okay, let's say the extended spring break. Because that's what they marketed it as. They were like, oh. And we're still on it. Yeah, we're still on the spring break a year later. <laughs> So, um, when the extended spring break started, it it was fucked from the beginning. If you think about it, honestly, it was, yeah, it was Friday the thir- it was Friday the thirteenth, and it was raining outside. Like seriously, yeah, it was. Like, bro, it was, you couldn't get much worse. It was raining outside, and it was Friday the thirteenth. But to be fair. I did get laid that day before. Ah, so, but te- oh, the day after. Oh, okay. So uh, let's not get into yeah, that. The, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, don't talk about her. shut up. Anyway, when this extended spring break started, I got a job, <laughs> and uh, I built a computer. I ironically got fired by a kid with my name, but let's not get into that. Anyway, um, let's say. That this happens, right? The spring break happens, and nobody talks to anybody, right? There's cut communication everywhere. Literally, like, the only people I have talked to was Montez Gats and and you know who. And yeah, and I don't even talk to fucking them anymore. It's literally either I'm talking to you, this new girl I've been trying to get with for a while, or like the people I play Tarkov with. 
I feel like it's the majority of the people you play Tarkov with because <laughs> it's like five guys. That's the low and... key. If we're not playing Tarkov, we don't know each other at the reads. So <laughs> in all reality, I got like maybe two friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's extremely depressing. That's that's oh no. <laughs> well, it's a life I gotta fucking live. So Th- thinking about that makes me sad. <laughs> Well, fuck you then. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> I, I mean, like, it makes me sad for you because you're a friend of mine. <laughs> Barely even 30 minutes in. <laughs> I know, right? It's fucking off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> but when the spring break happens, like, here's how it went down for me. I, I would go to work, then I'd do school, and then I'd, you know, I'd go to work, come home, do school, and that's it say about two weeks into it maybe or like when it really kicked in and everybody stopped talking to each other it was about a month in i checked on everyone i sent everybody i talked to the exact same text message i was like oh i was like hey you alive and everybody else was like yeah it took a whole six months for me to check in on everybody realize i have no friends (laughs) <laughs> oh no. and a year later when everything went then i was like you know what i really had no friends <laughs> oh, shit. hey you got me man <laughs> but here's the thing is i questioned our friendship yeah <laughs> <laughs> then like i got one other friend <laughs> <laughs> and i got the fucking like everybody else i'd sent them the text message and then i got the same response from everyone saying yeah i'm alive and i was like all right just checking didn't talk to him for like two months <laughs> i check on him every few months to make sure they're still around and kicking <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and then, then uh, I, yeah continue i ended up like cutting a lot of people off as well because i realized like you guys are only talking to me because i would give help with solutions but the moment i need help y'all ain't fucking there so Fun footage or whatever fucking language that is. Be gone, bot. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't give a fuck because I know she watches these anyway because she fucking told me so. All right. Uh, Alexis, she told me that the reason, like, say somebody texts her, right? Her phone's fucking up. So she's not getting any messages. I think I, I originally. I'm just saying, she's been saying that phone's been fucking up for a while now. I legit, I contributed it to she wasn't just te- she wasn't just checking them, but she sent me the message. She was like, "Yeah, I've been watching all of them, and the problem is, the phone's been fucking up, so I'm gonna get a new one." I was like, "Okay, fine, uh, yeah, uh, uh, fucking just let me know when you get the new one." And then she told me she watches every podcast episode, so that's kind of calling you out. You fucking know who you are. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if she does watch this, I should be getting a message shortly after you post this. But where the fuck you been, Alexis? Didn't I, we have a whole conversation about this? And where you been? I I should be getting a message about this anyway, too, when, when this is done. Being like, oh, fucking, you know, what the hell, man? What, what'd you do that for? <laughs> She'd be like, I really did not appreciate you calling me out like that. I'd be like, I, 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 it's not like people <laughs> actually watch my shit. So uh, it's not like you got exposed or nothing. <laughs> this shit hey, don't exist anyways. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, exactly. Well, uh, as we transition, any other stupid shit that we've done that you can think of off the top of your head? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I know there's plenty of it's like trying to trying to remember which one. Oh, were you there when I got kicked out of uh, kicked out of class for saying I'd stick a stick up its ass? The fish. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was there. And what? <laughs> I gotta fucking take these things off because wearing them with the wearing them with the headset fucks with my ears. I need to get context. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the times you've been kicked out of a shop for saying stupid shit. Dude, we need to go into that. <laughs> oh, God. 
uh, we so it was after school. <laughs> Yeah. and uh no it wasn't after school it was fifth period in class not fifth period no it was after school no it was sixth period for us because it was freshman year yeah but wasn't it after school he was like get the no because i didn't no i didn't come in after school oh okay all right so uh what happened was he was i was like uh he's like so we gotta we gotta put a stick in it we got <laughs> we got to not put a stick in it but we have to put something in there for the stand and then i was i i ended up how you can tell i've changed from sophomore from fucking was it freshman year freshman year to fucking senior year is i i'm a little less i i'm not like how i was freshman year at all <laughs> you look less like a drug dealer and more of a rapist Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you transitioned your careers. Ah, oh, fuck you, man. I, I, yeah, I'd rather be a drug dealer than a rapist. Because both of them, one of them's actually respectable. The other one's a piece of shit. But. Well, it depends what you're, what you're looking at there. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> all right. So what happened was he, I, it was like, oh, you got to put the stick up in it, right? And I was, I ended up screaming very obnoxiously. I was like, oh, it's ass. And then uh, he he just looked at me dead in the face. And he was like, get out of my classroom. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I got out of his classroom and walked home. Uh, like legit. <laughs> School ended very early that day. <laughs> yes, it did end early for you. Because you were practically kicked out. <laughs> yeah, I was kicked out of class. <laughs> Oh, dude. All right. Uh, oh, you remember that one time? <laughs> uh, uh, fucking Fred. We, no, you remember that one time we were we were in the back, not the back, but we were outside. We were outside, and we were doing the oiling for. Uh, oh God, all the weird jokes. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing the. <clears throat> <clears throat> We were doing the oiling on our projects and I would bring the fucking fish out, but I, it's at, it's at the shop. <laughs> mine's, uh, mine's still nailed to the garage. I can't believe it's actually nailed to the wall. <laughs> I'll show you it one day. Dude, once you find it, you have to show it to me. But uh, anyway, um, uh, we were doing the, Oh, we were doing much, the should that been in the same class yeah we <laughs> you know what i was talking to him he told me this he he was like you were in that period freshman year i did not i just didn't associate you with that class <laughs> you thought i was in like no, freshman year we had the same class at sixth period yeah but you would come in for the uh intervention yeah 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 because i was trying to get as much shop time in as i could I'm still doing that, man. <laughs> uh, okay, so you remember when um, <clears throat> the girlfriend I had the time how we got caught and like my mom was texting me. And she oh, was you got caught lacking? <laughs> yeah, and I was showing it to Fred that Mr. Steele walked in. He read the messages and all I heard is you're fucked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like he wasn't even mad. He was just that he was is... like disappointed. Oh and my like, god! <laughs> wasn't mad. Wasn't trying to take my phone away or anything. It was just you're fucked, dude. That's fucking great. <laughs> like, uh, shit. Go back. Um, uh. You remember that that one time we were in uh, that one chick's class, which she all she would do is fucking like play movies, and yeah, uh, like she brought shaving cream out for some reason. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, you know you know where this just, is going. I was the dumbest who just decided, oh, a little pile of this slap, <laughs> and shot everywhere that all the jokes. You're like, you're like, hey Seth, got time to shave? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was around the time where I also started carrying a knife on me. Yeah, I, I I now carry a knife on me to this day. Wherever I go, it doesn't matter where it is. 
always got to get dude even kind of have to nowadays obviously and the um the shop guy he uh like i brought the knife to since i carry it everywhere and like i pulled it out when i was at the shop and he he looked at me he was like what he looked at me he was like why (laughs) because we needed to open something and then that's I what just, you say we all carry one i just like pulled, i've switched to carrying a tomahawk now like i just pulled it out and then he was like he was like why <laughs> i was like i he was, I was like what i carry it with me everywhere <laughs> he he was like he was like no you don't i was like okay <laughs> i'm also opening a package right now he's like no you don't you don't you don't carry it with you everywhere no you don't you don't have it right now <laughs> Yeah, it does not exist. <laughs> it does not exist in the ether of the world. So, oh, cool. I'm doing, it? now that I'm thinking about it, I'm doing double podcasts today. I'm doing this one, and I'm doing another one, which is going to be uploaded over consecutive days. Well, let me know when this one's uploaded so I can post my video. Yeah, uh, it's, it'll probably, should I upload it today as the day of recording or tomorrow? Get some light editing and just upload as fast as possible. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll yeah. But I can't I'll, post my video until this is done because I advertised in the video <laughs> that I was going on this. Hey, uh, that's, I mean, promotion is promotion, I guess. At least you didn't do no exorcist thing, being like, oh, I got possessed and I fainted and fucking demons are coming after me. So. <laughs> I don't know, man. I watched that, something. That's once. not how uh, promotions work. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Sounds man. Sounds like some um, 70s car dealership bullshit right there. That's... I watched uh, I watched a thing on Shudder about the Exorcist where they used all the deaths on set and all that stuff and like demons and exorcisms and all that for the promotion of the film. And like, that's how that happened. And there was people fanning 30 minutes into watching the movie. Which then again, it was the 70s. So the only other horror movie you had was The Omen and The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, yeah, there's that. <clears throat> so, uh, so there's nothing else that comes to mind. <laughs> the stupid shit that we've done. <laughs> oh. There was the field trip where I had fucked up gums. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. That field trip sucked. It did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, where you got accused of having weed because we all smell. <laughs> yeah, the t- bro. And it was the kid next to me. Like, No, it was the car next to us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the window was open the whole time. Yeah. And, and the then... car next to us was lighting up. <clears throat> and we all assumed it was you. That's fucked, man. I thought... That, well, that's... you're like the registered pothead around here. Shut up! <laughs> that's funny because, like, legit, Kisti, I don't think he even knew about, like, any of that. If he did, he just didn't. No, he knew. <laughs> he knew. We all knew. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> I think I kind of broke my cover after wearing that Cheech and Chong up in smoke shirt <laughs> to, to shop one day. <laughs> yeah, that filter sucked because I had that whole gum disease thing going on. Yeah. Then uh, we were at in and out and like I haven't had it in so long. I was determined <laughs> to eat it, even though like I was crying after the second bite. <laughs> like oh. I was gumming down some fries as my mouth was bleeding. Dude. What and I, thought I settled was, on three milkshakes. What I thought was funny was uh, <clears throat> was that uh, when when that happens, like when I wore that Cheech and Chong shirt to to uh, the shop, I specifically remember he looked like he had the other teacher with him, and he looked at me. He pointed at me, and he was like. He was like, does that look college and career ready to you? And I look, I remember looking at him and I was like, it says university. <laughs> so I have future plans. <laughs> <laughs> I 
they need to call it specializing that uh, they they do Guys, and you'd be top of class i've uh not so much anymore but back then maybe <laughs> back then maybe i know raul would be top of the class because that's all he fucking does <laughs> i know legit i told him i was we were talking since they were gonna open the schools back up it was when it when they first talked about it like a week ago and uh i texted raul and i was like hey i'm like i'm down if you are and he was like he was like uh He's like, I, I don't, I don't want to do it. I was like, why not? This motherfucker said, I'm, I'll pull up the text message right now so I can make sure to read this, get this correct. <laughs> he says, uh... <laughs> this dumb fuck. I said, oh yeah. Um, he said, I. He said, okay, I might not go because I can't smoke at school. <laughs> I was like, not finding the right spots. I was like, that's the only reason you're not going. You can smoke after school. I was like, he was like, yeah, but not during school though. I was like, duh, of course you can. He's used to being at home and do. And then he he straight texted me back and said, but I want to though. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Raul. Yeah, I'm not. You. I'm not doing the school thing. I got no friends, anyways. And why would I go there not <clears throat> to socialize? So I'm just going to stay home and sleep all day. <laughs> it's come to the point where uh, math class, I'm just sleeping through it. Yeah. I, I don't need too. it to graduate. It does not matter. Like the only class that I focus for is somewhat English and econ. I just focus on English and econ, and I'm passing both of them, so I don't yeah. need to worry. And surprises, like I'm passing every other class besides Woodshop, and <laughs> Woodshop online is almost impossible to do. Dude, Woodshop online is like art class online. It doesn't. It, it doesn't help. Like legit, I took an art class. I had to take an art class online for like the school. They put me in the art class, right? Right. And. I failed that class. Because <laughs> here's how it would go. They would be like, oh. They'd be like, watch this video. Right? And draw this and take a picture of it. I was like, okay. So I watched the video. I draw it. It looks nothing like it's supposed to look in the video. I take the picture. I fucking, I turn it in. Grade tanked because I can't draw worth shit. <laughs> And then once they dropped that class and, like, dropped my sixth period, my grades fucking skyrocketed. <laughs> like, it's like they tried giving me um, a digital media. I'm like, I don't even use social media. Like, how are you going to give me digital media when I don't use social media? <laughs> and so, like, you know, I argued and complained about that to the counselor multiple times. They're like, look, here, just have a short schedule. Yeah, like, fucking... I mean, I have social media, but I don't use it. Like, I've, I legit haven't used my Twitter in like six months. <laughs> it's like, like I, I, you know, my YouTube Discord and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm probably just going to delete that. No one uses it. No one talks in it. it. There's no point in having it. The Discord? Yeah. My Discord for uh, my YouTube channel. Oh, shit. oh, your, your server. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably just going to delete that one. Like, no one fucking uses it, so... You know, like, I, I'm trying to multiple I times would, to get people into it. I would this. use it more, but uh, I'm busy <laughs> with other shit. Because I got several people breathing down my neck being like, oh, you have to do this assignment before you turn it in. You have to do this or your grade's going to tank. So, And I'm doing a bunch of college research, so that's breathing down my neck, too. So I'm busy as a motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, my parents also getting on that. They'll figure out what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, my dad is just my dad just wants me to graduate high school. <laughs> He's just like, I want you to graduate high school. I don't give a fuck what you do after that. As long as you don't end up homeless, you're good. Yeah, that's the plan. And this is what he told me. Uh, so I went over to our bull's house, right? To record a podcast. <laughs> And uh, 
I came home that day, right? And he, he, my dad looked at me and I was like, I was like, did I come home too late? He said, no. He said, I'm just happy you got friends. <laughs> I was like, uh, dad, that's damn. Is that how poorly you, that's, that's, uh, that's harsh. <laughs> that's awful harsh, man. <laughs> and I remember I was talking to my dad. And he was like, why don't you do all the normal, like, teenager things, like, fucking... Okay, first of all, times have changed. We cannot do that type of shit anymore. You can't go out partying and drinking all the time and shit. That does not happen. Yeah. I don't, I don't get where parents think, like, we doing that shit. But It does not happen, because there's social media now. They go to one place, cops are going to show up. If you do anything stupid at that party, you've just been recorded and lost all fucking friends. Yep. And uh, he told me this. He was like, why don't you go out and party and all that stuff? I was like, Dad, you got to remember, I have friends, but my friends don't party. We don't. And plus, parties are a whole lot different nowadays. We don't party. We plan orgies. What? No. (laughs) We don't party. We plan orgies. (laughs) (laughs) That shit doesn't even happen. Yeah, we plan shit that doesn't even work out. Like, <laughs> yeah, I planned that whole pool party thing. Never happened Nothing because the extended happened. spring break. Yeah, like I was legit down to come too, but fucking yeah, spring break. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> fucking uh, motherfucker! <laughs> All right. So, and plus, like parties nowadays are completely. They're they're uh, before the spring break happened. Uh, parties before then, like say two years ago, because that's the only time that uh, I could reflect back on as like somewhat normal, to where you know we wouldn't have to be. No, the last houses. party I went to, she talked it up like it was this huge fucking party. I'm thinking, all right. I'm gonna go have some fun. Get there. It's a fucking birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> a white girl adopted into a Mexican family. <laughs> and so, like, uh, I go there, you know, with the girlfriend I had at the time and stuff. It was her best friend. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'm there, and it's like, it's a full on Hispanic party, you know, families there and a house. You <laughs> just sit in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, I just sat there in the corner. The mom kept coming up to me. I was like, how come you're not eating? Go eat something. Go eat something. Go hang out with people. I'm like, I don't like people. <laughs> she's like, after saying that, she's like, oh. Then walked away. Kept coming up to me. How about you eat something? I grabbed the chicken taco. Sat there and ate it as a chicken walked up and looked at me. Oh! Dude. This was no normal no. thing. This was a full-grown rooster. No. And I looked them in the eyes as I ate. Oh, no. Dude, no. No. Do, really? Mm-hmm. You know how expanded this was? There was a donkey in the background. Oh, that that that's that's great. <laughs> that's that's some good shit right there, man. Yeah, he was just in a cage sitting back there. Anyway, uh like here's how parties are now. Uh, well, well, we're back in 2018. Like, because of social media, high school parties aren't like just come. Not, not. God damn it! They, they, they aren't just go to the party and have fun. They're pay five dollars to get in if you're a guy. If you're a girl, you get in for free. They're, they're. It's not even party. like that. No, that shit don't even exist. It's a literally. Hey, yo, I'm having a party. Four people show up. Where's the alcohol? There is none. Why the fuck are you inviting people? And then they, they're like, where's the alcohol? There is none. And then... Why am I here? And then they just turn around and leave. And he's like, I just spent $40 on chips. You expect me to eat this by myself? <laughs> <laughs> I just bought four pounds of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> four pounds you're just fucking you're sitting in your room crying and you're just eating it going Aah. it's been four days later the shit's gone back <laughs> you're still eating it like <laughs> you get the shits you're like ah. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, like that whole pool party thing I was playing was actually gonna be fucking legit and stuff. Had yeah, the whole family in on it. Like we was gonna order the whole pizzas and shit. I was gonna steal my sister's karaoke machine because it has a really loud speaker on it. <laughs> you be a <laughs> Yeah, it had the whole mic and all that too. Bro, it'd be like that scene from Ted. You remember? We had um all the flashing Christmas lights getting ready to be set up and shit. Like it was gonna be a nice, legit small party. And like mm. it was gonna be the whole swimming thing. So like I had, you know, the heated pool, hot tub. Uh-huh. And basically, I said, if you're not dressed enough to go swimming, you ain't fucking coming. Yeah, then I probably wouldn't have come because I don't uh, like I don't if, swim. <laughs> you didn't have to, but I'm saying like the whole goal was to get chicks. Oh, in, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, suits and shit. Yeah, you want to see some booty. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, that was. Uh... Want to see some titties. <laughs> that was part of the plan. You're like, show me those titties, bitch. <laughs> Like, show me your booty maker. <laughs> uh, and uh, God, I really hope my friend doesn't fucking watch this later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, I already told her she was gonna watch that so she better wear earbuds. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because like she has one of those Christian family, like religious type families. Uh huh. So this would not go. <laughs> I told the shop teacher, I was like. He was like, dare I listen? I was like, well, you know us, so wear earbuds. <laughs> you, yeah, you know us well enough by now. You should you, you should wear, wear a headset or something. <laughs> Don't let your wife know you're listening to us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, um, that goes back to uh, parties. Fuck. Um, God damn it. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, but the whole high school dream party thing that every parent was talking about does not exist anymore. Yeah, it does it, not happen. Uh, I don't think I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, the karaoke machine. All right, say like, you have a karaoke machine, right? It'd be like that, you know, that one scene in Ted where at that party and he, he's he's singing that song and he's like, hope, but the but the and then he just says, A I O U. <laughs> And he was like, proof that Garfield looks like a pair of tits. <laughs> I'm going to send you that scene, man. <laughs> I'm afraid that you yeah. don't want to watch it. It's proof that Garfield looks like a pair of tits. Because <laughs> he drew on the chick's pair of tits, Garfield. Oh, my God. <laughs> that movie is something else. <laughs> How high do you have to be? Where Garfield looks, <laughs> dude, they did coke with Sam Jones, <laughs> and that's Flash fucking Gordon. So, yeah, yeah, it's a shitty TV show from the eighties. I feel like all parents' conception of like parties, like all their, uh, they had they better th- parties. What they think parties are like na- nowadays are. Uh, say, you know, when you watch him, okay, uh, here's a perfect example. Uh, pr- have you seen the movie Project X? Uh, probably, probably not. Well, that movie is about a high school party, it's about these dudes that are going to put on a party, and one dude's recording it, and they stuff a midget in the oven, like they stuff a midget in the oven, they, <laughs> they, uh, they fucking, uh, take a they stuff a midget in the oven and then they take a minivan off the roof and put it in a pool it, it's supposed to be like this crazy high school party a crazy final senior year party until they go to college and they're trying to go with a huge send off and the movie's pretty good and it's largely forgotten about <laughs> and all i know is that it's got a jumper in it and a lot of alcohol, a lot of boobs, and there's a midget in the oven. So that's why I love that movie. <laughs> that's the main part to take away. There's a midget in the oven. Yeah, there's a midget in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what I, I did feel for... like my dad's going to want to watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> my dad still questions you after the stories I've told. Oh, God. This isn't going to help much. Yeah, like I told him I was gonna be on your podcast. And he was like, 
are you sure you want to do a podcast with him? Uh, <laughs> uh, My mom even looked over. Are you sure you want to do? A podcast? Yeah, to kind of, I, I'll, I'll tell you that off camera anyway. But uh, anyway, um, so we've gone over how long we've known each other. Some, some of the stupid shit we done. I say some because there's a lot more stories. <laughs> there is a lot more. And I I have not set a timer. So I we, don't, we should be about an hour now. Yeah, I don't know how long this has been, but watch it be 51 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like the moment Raul was only 51 minutes. But hey, that's good enough because we've just talked shit for the last hour. Yeah. That's that's all we planned on. All I planned on doing was talking shit and telling all the stupid shit that I've done. And uh, Which oh, you've done an ungodly amount. Yeah, I feel like that categorizes my life in to a certain extent. It's just me doing dumb shit. So, since we can't think of anything else, uh, and you don't, you. I think technically the only social media you have is YouTube. So YouTube uh, and uh, Discord. Yeah, but I, I kind of that, that's it. I don't use anything else. I don't know if you want to. Uh, this is the since we're wrapping up. This is the part of the show where I ask the guest to plug their shit. So uh, plug away. Right. <laughs> so. Uh, I primarily do YouTube, even though it's been very slow lately due to the fact of spring break. Just, uh, no, not that. Literally, I just haven't not felt inspiration to do anything. Inspiration, loneliness, just a whole cocktail of bullshit. Yeah. But if you want to check out my shit, uh, I guess go on the YouTube, search Death Feather, all caps, the one with the red feather. I do have a Twitch and stuff, but I do not. It'd be very rare to see me stream on there also. Definitely. I'll add it. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, if you want to join my Discord, if it's not deleted, go to one of my videos. It'll be in the description. All right. So would you say that's it? That's all I got. <laughs> and, I ain't got and, shit, man. And uh, going on to that YouTube stuff, several... I, I think I've... I've been on your channel more than you've been on mine. <laughs> yes, you have been on my channel more. How many fucking videos have we done together that are on Hold your up. channel? Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. I gotta go count now. I know on my channel we've done maybe maybe like two on mine. Yeah, okay, so you know that video I did with uh, BHD? Yeah. I was hoping that video would get bigger. I only got like 15 views three months ago. You got to put tags in it, bro. I did. I fucking tagged the living thing. There's like 40 tags on there. But what you got to do is you got to put tags in the description. Like you got to put hashtag. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, you got to put three of them. So it can start trending. One, two. Count all the ones we did together. Three. four because there's the one with the uh boys that one was fun yeah that one was dude that that one has to be my favorite one that we've done six that's when i did the fun series um two yeah the rest were with trout oh uh okay four so far five but anyway, uh, let's go into, I, I know we're wrapping up, but fuck it. Since we're talking about YouTube, let's talk about how many times say, okay, I know I, this has happened to me at least a couple of times. Say you you start playing a game, right? Mm -hmm. And you just lose, like, say you're doing it, right? And you have all intensive purposes to finish that game. But you just like say, oh, be like, oh, I have to make a video on it. Just like that's just like recently with the fucking um, with the uh, with Uncharted The Lost Legacy. I tried to play it. I really tried to. But I just like 
lost all interest in it after the first episode was done. I just fucking like I had to make a second episode, and I was like, "Oh fuck, am I have to suffer through this?" <laughs> yeah. So unfinished you know series my, on YouTube uh, channels. Yeah, I have like eight of those. You never know, have uh, Fallout one. Four one that I did. <laughs> That, like, I pretty much came up on because no one was fucking watching in the first place. Mm-hmm. So, I recently, as you know, I got, I got VR and all that. Yeah. I watched that I've video. Also it was gotten, pretty cool. I've gotten Fallout 4 in VR. Oh, shit. But I don't know if I want to record that or not. And it's like recording in VR is a lot harder than you think, especially when it can, like, I got to buy a second mic and everything, record the audio onto my phone, and transfer it to my computer. Mm hmm. It's a bit of a bitch to do all that. Like um, the video I recorded in VR, because uh, the Oculus Quest it's really good, but it's not recommended for YouTube because it records from the left eye. So say if I'm like in hot dog switches and hand grenades and I'm shooting shit, when I'm aiming down the sight with my right eye, it's only recording from the left. Um, it doesn't track the full view of everything I'm seeing. Like I can see in a full ninety degree motion of everything. Mm-hmm. It's only capturing maybe 35%. Oh, that's stupid. So I got to directly look at something. Oh, shit. Well, yeah. Show it. We talk about uh, uh, just losing interest in a series. So you just end up deleting all the videos. <laughs> oh, I didn't do all that. They're still there. I just like um, I did the whole Resident Evil thing that lost interest really fast. Like if I lose interest in a, in like a video game I'm playing, I just I delete the game, I delete the series on the YouTube channel. So I just delete every notion of it, <laughs> so it never existed. And uh, I know I said we were gonna wrap up, but fuck, we'll do it. We'll we'll do it over again. But uh, <laughs> as we talk about PCs, you are egging me on. To build a fucking PC. <laughs> you really do need one. Like, you need to try some of these PC games and stuff. You you won't get into Escape from Tarkov. That's too fucking mind-complicated and an abusive game where I, you basically got to be a masochist to be able to play it. Yeah, no. But, like, other shit, you would love having a PC. It's fucking nice. And it's a good, it's a good thing that I bought... I I bought a laptop because if I didn't buy a laptop, say I record a podcast episode and I have to be on the road, I could edit it on the fucking road, which is a good thing. And also for college. So I kind of had to. But would you say that's it? Uh, yeah. That's, that's, all the, that's all the topics we got? Basically, yeah. All right. You like to hear my voice some more. Uh, go to my channel, that feather. I'm gonna That's be it. trying to post more, waiting for this shit to post so I can uh post my next video. And I will promote that video too. So, all right, there's that. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, yeah. so um, I have something I'm gonna tell you off camera, but we're gonna, yeah, that's after. So, all right, uh, that has been episode seven of the culture shock i have to record another one of these in a few hours so these will be uploaded consecutively this one will be uploaded today the other one will be uploaded tomorrow so uh see you later thanks for this if anybody actually watches this shit which is surprising because this is the most uh viewed series on my channel (laughs) believe it or not so Thanks, and uh, see you later.